brought to you by the Coleman Dental Group. And we'll do a little bit of news. Got Rex Davis up here, former, former person on the executive committee, right? That's correct. Now, okay, let's just get to it right now. The other night, they had a, <laughs> kind of a big discussion on 306 Barbecue, according to the newspaper. I'm getting all my information now. That and other, the newspaper was there. And other reliable sources that were also present. You have resigned from the executive board. That's correct. Meaning you can't make any decisions anymore nope. or what? Nope. Now, had, nothing, did you resign other, because of what happened the other night or you had already previously resigned? I had decided that after the election I was going to resign because I was, was not going to run for office again on the executive committee. And I figured that I'm, I'm, I'm pretty dynamic. No. And, <laughs> yeah. And, and I, I was concerned that I would interfere with the new officers. So I was going to step down. But Ronnie Kaufman asked me to stay because he was having some problems that he wanted some help with. And I said, well, I'll stay for a little while. And, and, and that's hmm. basically the story. So, so I'm, I'm not resigning because of anything that happened. Well, are you still on or are you off? No, no I'm off. You're I'm off. Gone. I'm gone. Now, they got into a little shouting match there the other night. Well, Report yeah. Report indicates got a said heated. it did. Got well, a little it, was, it was heated. It was a heated discussion, debate. And, and, but, Jamie, isn't that what you're supposed to do in committees? I don't know. I've never been on one. <laughs> Okay. Well, well sure. I did. I tell you, yeah, have personalities. Let me, first off, let me say that, that the Democrats and the Republicans, the executive committees, are the most radical people in that particular party in the, in the county. So are you saying you have to have hotheads involved? Well, it's not hotheads necessarily. It's, it's people that are emotional about how they feel. And, and, and that's the proper form. Passionate. That's now, the proper form for them to, to, to bring those issues up and debate them. And sometimes they get a little bit heated. Now, I'm going to try to ask you a question because my memory, uh, as I go here, so I may jump back and forth a little bit. Now, is it true that the Republican committee is trying to prevent former candidates that ran at Democrats and lost the election from being able to run as a Republican in the future? It sounds like they're moving that way. And let's just use an example. Let's use an example of Christy Valls, Henry White, Tom Butler. Tom Butler. You got it. That's, that's, that's good examples. Now, Chris, Christy Valls, uh, Christy Valls probably like would never be able to run as a Republican um, at, on, with this committee in power. Um, Who votes on that? Just the committee or everybody that's in that room? The 30 or so in there. Everyone in the room makes the final decision. And, and right now, we, we've never vetted before. We, matter of fact, we had a debate uh, two years ago about vetting, or last year about vetting. Do you remember the Tom Butler incident? Yes. And Ronnie and I both, we stood up for Tom Butler, saying that Tom Butler had tried to, or we'd been talking to him to, to come over to the Republican Party for years. I'd talked to him about it. Ronnie talked to him about it. And then when he came over to the Republican Party, he, he went to all the meetings. He did everything he was supposed to do. He was one of us. And then when he wants to run for office, they say no. Well, that, that's kind of ridiculous. But now, also, a lot of those but people that are in there used to be no, Democrats. Used to be Democrats. Well, the whole, count, the whole county Jones. used to be Democrats. Well, I know. So what's the difference? Well, I don't know. And that's my problem really, with it. What's the difference? My problem with it is if you're, telling, if you're telling Tom Butler he's not good enough to run as a Republican, then aren't you telling all these voters that used to be Democrats that are voting Republican now, that they're not good enough to vote Republican? Good point. Isn't that the same Tom difference? Tom Butler's a great man, an awesome I mean, Tom Tom Butler did a lot of goodwill, for, as did Henry, but I mean, I know they got beat in, in like that, but you're just uh, saying they can't run. Is that? I'm not now, saying that. Been yet, I'm not saying it? that. They are. The committee is, is moving in that direction. What are they scared and, of? And that's one of the things. That, <laughs> well, beat? it's power. Power. <laughs> anytime, anytime you have uh, any, anytime you develop power, you think you have the ability to cut people off, to stop people, and control things. Well, it's best to let the primary voters decide who is, who is the best candidate for the job. Now, there's some exceptions. There's some so exceptions. So are you against the, the vetting? not allowing people? I, like I'm, against, I'm, ag I'm against widespread vetting of candidates. Basically, uh, got, okay, go ahead. Somebody comes to, we, we talked to you about this when you asked us about running for probate judge. And I told you the same thing. I enjoyed it. It was worth it. It was, it was kind of. I, I enjoyed it, it too. I can always say I, I was almost a judge. I, I, yeah, I like the robe. Fist. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've got one back here. Matter of fact, when I do Judge Jamie, let's talk about uh, the sheriff investigation into Limestone County Sheriff Mike Blakely. That wasn't approved by you guys. Y'all don't. Did well, y'all know anything not, about it? Not the committee as a whole. 
But apparently the steering committee did actually hear the report and the steering committee did actually tell him to drive on, continue looking. So Really? The steering what committee, are they looking for? Steering, nothing. Anything so the Republican that might be Party wrong. is behind the invest. Is that what you're saying? I would say I would say if the if the if the chairman of the committee and the steering committee, which are the officers that make decisions between meetings, have heard the report, then they're behind it. Plain and simple. If you hear a report, then you're engaged in the activity, right? You own it. And so, if you ask the person to go ahead and continue the investigation, then wouldn't you, wouldn't you say that, that there you is, own you, that? You are telling me that there is an official report, investigation being done by the Republican Party of Limestone County against Mike Blakely. Well, Jamie, I can't say that for sure. But all indications are, and I've been told by at least one member that resigned that was on the steering committee, that they did in fact hear the report and the person was told to continue the investigation. What are they looking for? Anything, they well, can. Right anything, got anything that's wrong. We right started out with the sheriff's rodeo. All right. And uh, uh, the person went around town asking questions, individual, on his own. And then he came to the steering committee, to the executive committee in March and asked to give a report to the committee as a whole. Ronnie came to me and said, hey, we're going to go into executive session where we, you know, we close the doors and nobody can hear anything and you're sworn to secrecy, right? Who is this person that is doing this? Uh, John Livesa. He's a new guy on the committee uh, and, and he's trying to do good. He, he's, he's, well, he, he, think, Mike's been doing he thinks wrong? it's the right thing. He thinks Apparently. it's the right thing to be doing. All right, uh, there's five people right now currently going to possibly are running for Republican for sheriff. Right. At least five. At least five. So At least will five. you be a sixth? I don't know yet. All right, so you're telling me I you don't know if you're going to run it because rumor has it you're going to run for sheriff. I know it. Yeah, it's, it's a good rumor. I like it. <laughs> he likes so it. there's still a possibility you may run for it sheriff. It's possible, but apparently I won't be running as a Republican. Why? Well, the Republican Party has determined that, uh, that I, I would not be a good candidate, that, that they, I would be one of the ones that they would bet off the... Off the right, wait, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You've been on the committee, but yet now you're not good enough to be? Well, because I oppose Common Core. I, I, I you wrote a letter Common to Core. the editor of the paper the other day. Com I supported Common Core, but that letter to the editor was based on an action they took at a meeting where they classified me as a weak Republican because of Common Core standards. Well, what about these other five that are running? Uh, are well, they all go now, they all already had fundraisers, most all of them. Right. Now, no, none no. of them have been have given been the by the committee, they've not been vetted that, yes, I can run as a Republican. That's correct. Will they prevent any of those five from running as a Republican? And when well, will that, when uh, will that uh, vote that's, be? That's the question. And, and, and is, it, is it the right thing to do? That's the question. Uh, here in Limestone County, we know everybody. People know me. Everybody knows me. And they know that they, probably if there was a face of the Republican Party in Limestone County, it's you. it would be me. Right. Okay. And the Constitution. You and the Constitution. <laughs> and I, I like the Constitution, well, too. Well, let me ask you about this. What's wrong with Mike Blakely as sheriff? I, I, have, I have two things against Mike Blakely. Actually, three things, and I won't discuss the third. The two things I have against Mike Blakely is he's been there for 32 years, and no elected official, especially a sheriff, should be in power that long because it's the most powerful office in the county. And 32 years is a long time. But do you not think he's done a good job? I think he's done an excellent job. But how can you say that if he's done an excellent job? Because any, any, any office holder should not stay in office that long. I, I, so I believe like it's like I can't stay on TV for 40 years. Well, there's a difference between elected officials. There's a lot of difference because, but, because they have an immense amount of power. But he's elected because people want him in that position. He's a good sheriff. And he's done an awesome job. Not saying you might not be a good one. Mike, Mike, is, Mike Blakely is a good sheriff. So I like, like Mike Blakely. Okay, and well, the well evidently thing, you don't like him if you're going <laughs> to say stuff thing, about him. The second thing I don't, the second thing is because he's a Democrat. Okay. He'll die a Democrat. Yeah. He'll die He'll a Democrat. Democrat. And he's probably more conservative than Rex Davis exactly. is. Oh, there's the point. <laughs> I mean, but you're saying if Mike Blakey wanted to switch over to Republican, they wouldn't allow it. Twenty years ago, right here in Limestone County, or 18 years ago, right here in Limestone County, I said at Lake Ida, and, and I, I said that you no one should be a sheriff longer than seven years. What do you base okay? that on? Well, they, not, I'm not going to say corruption, but, but 
But it's it's, it's, the, it. it's the <laughs> immense it's the immense amount of power that someone in that office holds that no one should be in that office that long. But are you indicating that the Republican Party thinks there is some sort of corruption with our sheriff's department? Oh, of course talking? they do, and okay. and of course, of course, and it's got to do with the rodeo. Of course, any uh, any number of people that don't like Mike Blakely or that would like to replace Mike Blakely would say the same thing, whether it's true or not. Now, do I think it's true? No, I do not. I don't think Mike Blakely has a bit of corruption in him at all. I think he's a, he's a good Southern sheriff, and Southern sheriffs sometimes do things a little bit differently. And I remember when Mike Blakely first started out. I remember the, the, the incident with Channel 19, uh, you know, when he was, he was a brand new sheriff. But Mike Blakely isn't that same person. He's changed over the years. I didn't know him personally back then. I know him personally now. And I think the world of Mike Blakely, He's a good guy, but it's time for Mike Blakely to leave that office and go do something else. Ooh. Period. Are you going to run for sheriff? I might. I might. It's going to be a very Anything interesting Anything else you'd like to say, election. Rex? And thanks for coming up, man, because that's exactly <laughs> what I needed to hear. How am I doing? Are you doing great? Right. And, and listen, the, number, the people on the executive committee, One thing about 85 you, you percent of them, 85% of them are excellent people. And, and then the other 20% are just radical. They're just a little bit on the radical you side. You know, I'm not a Republican anymore because of the actions of the local Republicans here and the way most of them act in Montgomery. I'm not a Republican anymore. Because I'm not a Democrat, me? but I ain't a Republican. I'm because of be what I did? Huh? Who, who, who are you no, talking about? No, I'm just about? talking about, I've, I know some of these people in there, and I know some of them, but they're far out there. Yes, and they I, are. I just ain't in on that. Well, what you, you heard what I said about the Liberty Bill. Yeah. And that's exactly it. If the extremes on either side, and they're there. They're extreme people in the Democrat executive. They're playing up right on the fears County. of what Obama's doing, and that's not fair for the folks here. I mean, it's not. Extreme is not good at any level, especially in a, in a political party. How would you rate the local Republican Party here that you used to be part of, the executive committee? Well, and tell me what you told it, me on the phone. It's, it's <laughs> a, about. Are they good or bad? Enjoy them. They're, they're moving to the bad side. Okay. They're moving to the bad side because of the vetting issue and, of course, this investigation into a local elected official. It's just not something the executive committee should be doing, and they need to put the brakes on it, look at it, evaluate it. People need to take charge and fix it, and I don't know if there's anybody there to do it. We, you mentioned Tony Llewellyn. Huh? He's, he's, being, he's being cut Hot off. Head. Tony is a hothead. Tony, Tony's a hothead. But there's nothing wrong with that. That's okay. Oh, you okay. said that's good for politics. It's good for politics. The, air it out. Get it out. Now's the time to do it. If you're going to fix something, but June, July, August is you, the time to do what's it. What's broken, what's broken with the sheriff's department? Yeah, and how can you face him after no. just telling me all this stuff? Face who? Mike. Oh, oh I have no like problem facing Mike at all. I, but how do you how do you say someone's because done I've a told him the same thing on the phone. Sheriff, I know you. Yeah. But how do you say someone's done a great job and a good sheriff? But it's time for you to go. Because he's been there too long. So but I, that's, that's not fair. I used that's not to be a term. term. Jamie, you get your fair. ass off TV because you've been it, over because four you're years. You're not an elected official, Jamie. I'm elected myself, King of Morning Television. <laughs> it's, it's not. It's not the same. <laughs> it's not the same when when. Again, that's a political position, You're right. and it's the most powerful posi political position in the county, next to the judges. But the judges don't get involved in politics. And they all because, used to be Democrats. Because they're canons, mm -hmm. and they all used to be Democrats. Rex, I want to thank you for coming up yeah. this morning. Keep Always me posted, and let me know. If you decide to run for sheriff, you announce it first here on this program. Yeah, yeah okay, I'll do that. <laughs> Can you handle I'll that? that? I'll do that. Rex, as always, you don't hold back. Is that good? That's a good thing. No, speaking Thanks of mind, Thanks for coming up. Needs to. Thank you for having me. All right, we'll take a break. We'll come back in just a second. Huh. Y'all, hang on.